Welcome back. It's another toy day. This time, All Powers sent us their battery box. It's kind of like what you'd get with a Jackery in a different package, as well as their 200 watt solar panels. Now, we have a pretty good battery in our van, but at the same time, I want to see if one of these would work for our next van build. We have an older Toyota van and we're really thinking about building it out in a really simple way and this battery pack or one similar to this would do the trick. It actually comes packed pretty nice. That is all of the manual. Oh yeah, it's pretty thick too so it's probably in multiple languages. Here we have Oh, our charging power cord. Oh, this is the solar panel into this. This cord I can also hijack and use to charge the battery bank from the van's 12 volts. And in here, we find the battery pack. It's a nice looking little box. So it has power button. Oh, it's only at 6%. We're going to have to charge that up multiple plugs. You also have a 12 volt plug, USB-C, two USB-A, and these USB-C are 100 watts, which it means the full power. So you can run a MacBook or something from that. Okay, no, it's actually at 70%. It's pretty handy. And then a light flashing for emergencies. So here is where you connect everything. That's the DC in, that's the AC in, and then it also has its breaker there, which is handy. That saves you from having to build a breaker in if you were to use something like this in your van or RV build. And then that's about everything there. So yeah, we're gonna give this a try. Oh, it also has wireless charging. That's kind of handy. We're going to put this out with a solar panel. It's almost 3 p.m. here, so the sun is low enough that it's pretty much down. We're up at about the 53rd parallel. We get a really low sun in the winter time. It really doesn't give us a lot of solar ability, but these panels you can set up to face the sun directly. So we'll give that a try tomorrow. And then let's crack this baby open. This is a huge box. I'm hoping it folds in half because I don't know how we would fit this in the van. And I don't really want to put it on top of the van because the power we get from our alternator provides so much power, we've never needed solar in our van at all. I'm gonna do this. Do this the easy way. I think that turned out to be the hard way. Here is the solar panel. It is a flexible solar panel, but, but you know, I don't think there's any way we're going to be able to carry this in the van because while flexible, we can't really roll it up enough to put it underneath. And why don't you want to put it on top? Just because of the sunroof? Well, we have sunroof, so we have no room yet. And you can. People have glued <laughs> this to, to the roof of their vans. And then six months later, air gets underneath it and all of a sudden they see it in their rear view mirror. So I don't think I'd ever want to glue one straight to the roof. Could build a roof rack and put it on, but um, either way, we'll hook it all up tomorrow. We'll give it a try. It's about minus 15 here right now as well. So we'll have to hope that the lithium battery in the thing will charge and stay warm enough while it's charging. A lot of times once they get charging, they'll generate a little bit of heat. So that should keep it above zero and able to be charged. We'll show you that uh, tomorrow when the sun comes up. Okay, so yesterday I plugged it in, decided to get it all charged up, and now I'm gonna put a load on it and just see how it does. I've got a really powerful floodlight. I'm gonna throw that on it. it generates a lot of heat and light. And we'll see how that goes. So now we just give this a tug. No longer charging. And here is the work light. There we go. Plugged in, good and solid. And oh, we have to turn this on. I always forget about that with these. 
And I think it's going. Error two. How many watts is this thing? Okay, so that is 500 watts. This should be able to do 600 watts. I've reset it because it did throw the error, but uh, let's give it a try and see what happens again. Okay, I think it has engaged. Now let's turn this on. Huh, error two it says. I'm gonna have to go to the manual and see what that means. But something doesn't seem right. Okay, after doing some fiddling, I have figured out how to turn the Bluetooth on and figured out a bunch of other issues that I couldn't figure out. The manual actually doesn't do a very good job of that. It doesn't say anything about how to turn Bluetooth on. And the app says push and hold the wireless button. And there's no wireless button. So I finally figured out if I push and hold the USB DC on off switch, that turns on the Bluetooth. So I'm now connected, everything's good. I'll show you what I've got set up here. So I'm gonna hook up this hair dryer. It only burns 300 watts when running on fan only, not on heat. On heat, it will overload it. It goes to about 630 watts, runs for about three seconds and then quits. I charged it overnight fully to 100 and in the fiddling around with it, it's gone down. But I'm gonna turn it on and leave it now. That's cold. It says 58 hours, we'll see how that does. See you in a minute. One nap later. Okay, so I'm back. It has been about 10 minutes. This has now gone to 74%, saying there's 45 minutes left. I think it'll be less than 45 minutes, but I'm gonna let it get down to about 20% and we'll kind of do some math from there. It's pretty consistent at 230, 240 watts. So the math should be pretty simple. So. We'll check back in in a few again. Okay, so we're back. It's 25 minutes in. It's now at 52%. Does seem like it's going down faster than its math is doing it. It says there's 31 minutes now, and it's been running for maybe 25, um, 30, 55. Actually, yeah, it is on schedule. Okay. I'm kind of surprised now that I think about that. I have to remember that this is their smallest battery pack. A bigger one, of course, would last a lot longer. If it's within 10% of how they advertise it, that's generally pretty good. A lot of electronics math is theoretical, which means that there's all kinds of little ins and outs. Components can draw a little more or a little less or be a little more efficient or a little less efficient. So it's not uncommon for things to be off by a little bit from what their specification is. But so far this one seems to be good. We're now at 50%. I'll come back in about another 10 minutes and we'll see how it is. One eternity later. Okay, we're at 37, 38 minutes now. It's at 32%. Overall, I think it's doing great. It's pretty solid how well it's working. Its math is all correct. 230 watts is not a lot though. Not a lot of things other than maybe a laptop are gonna draw that. If you need a lot of power, let me turn this off if you need a lot of power enough that you need a battery pack like this generally you need more than what this is providing the only time we really use electricity are for the laptop which this would work for the electric kettle which ours is 900 watts so this wouldn't quite cut it and then a hair dryer sometimes it's nice to be able to dry your hair and not have it soaking wet for the rest of the day that's not my problem that's Marilyn's problem it does pretty good for for what it does for a little bit of an emergency backup power supply or if you were going to power a van this would do it if you didn't have a lot of power requirements if you did i think in our next van we're going to need more than this so we'll have to see if something like this will be able to work it might be easy enough to throw this in and leave space for a bigger battery and system if we decide to the all-in-ones are decent but i prefer to have a fixed dedicated system inside my van because you can usually build a lot more robust system for less than these all-in-ones are. The nice thing about the all-in-one is you don't need to know anything about electricity to put it together and to get your van set up. We will now try the solar aspect. So I'm gonna go hook this up to the solar. It's really overcast and cloudy and it's winter time here. So we're far from the ideal. This is probably a worst case scenario day, but we'll try it anyways and see how it goes. Check back in a minute. So the solar panel plugs in like so, and this, 
now shows us how much we're charging. And all we're getting is, well, so far it might be going at five watts. So here's the solar panel, 200 watt solar panel. There's the connections, there's the charger, and there is our solar conditions for the day. The solar conditions in Canada are not ideal. Yeah, it looks like five watts is what we're gonna get. 30%. We'll see how this goes. It's also minus 12 today, I think. If that battery pack gets below zero degrees, it probably won't charge anymore. Only one way to find out, and that's testing in the real world. Cover it up. At five watts, I don't expect a lot, but uh, that's winter in Canada for you. All right, well, it's actually gone up about 15%, which I'm kind of surprised it did at about seven watts from that panel. Uh, it actually must be doing pretty good. I don't know what the voltage is. I haven't tested that. 15% on a crappy day like this with those kind of skies. It's uh, impressive to say the least. Well, the test didn't do too bad. I'm surprised it actually charged up running on like five to seven watts from that solar on, a, on an overcast day like today. Plus we're up here in Northern Canada. So the angle of the sun in the wintertime is really low all day. Shadows are very, very long and we have a sunset at like 4.30 PM. Yeah, it'll have to wait for a sunny day to give it another test, but we'll post this video as it is so that uh, you guys can kind of see. And for the price of the, the brand name ones like Jackery, the, this All Powers one is, is solid. It's built really well. The finish is super, super nice. I'm really impressed with how well it is built and how well it operates. The only thing that wasn't good was how they, how you put it into Bluetooth mode. The manual just doesn't say anything about it. It just says to put it in Bluetooth mode. And the app says to push the wireless button and hold it. There's no wireless button. On this one, to do it, you have to push and hold the DC load on off button and then the Bluetooth icon will come on and you can connect then. The other thing I noticed too is the app doesn't update. Once it sees it and you connect, the app never reconnected and updated to the new status of the battery, which is kind of annoying. I like my Renogy system in the van. I can pull down and make the whole page refresh, which is super handy. I'll wrap up here and I'll uh, look forward to the future when I show you one where the sun's actually out and we'll see how uh, good this 200 watt panel can perform. We'll talk to you soon.